Hi, I'm Ted Bedromo. Let me show you how to create a LinkedIn group. You want to go to your main dashboard here and go to work up in the upper right hand corner. Click on groups. Then we're going to click on my groups and you'll click on create. So here's my new group and I'll upload a logo. Okay, that looks good. And here we're going to write a description of the group. I won't go through the whole thing here. I'll just fill in a few blanks and update it later. Here you want to put in your group rules. You definitely want to put in rules of what people can post, how they should act. You know, basically your terms of service, just like on your website. So if people violate the group rules, then you can, you know, reach out to them and tell them to stop self-promoting or whatever your rule is and if they don't then you can remove them from the group you know with LinkedIn groups if you get penalized in a group it can affect all of your groups so you have to be really careful not to abuse groups I know a lot of moderators are pretty lax on the rules of their groups but if you get flagged by someone a group moderator it can really affect your group activity so you can have a standard group or an unlisted group. So a standard group is if you want to let other people invite other people, you want to grow, make it viral, and you want a large group that's open, you choose standard group. If you want an unlisted group, like I have a LinkedIn course called Linked Accelerator, and I have a private group for that. So I don't want everybody to be in there. It's a privilege to be able to come into that group. So I would choose unlisted in that case. Let's just go with save changes. And then here I can invite my connections. And also with this pre-approved by email domain, so say you work for adobe.com, you can actually pre-approve anybody that has an email address from adobe.com. So if it's an Adobe related group, they're all included automatically. You don't have to approve them. Otherwise, what you want to do, you have to go in here and moderate the groups. But I'll get into that later. I'm showing you how to manage your groups. And that's really it. That's how you start your group and get it going. Now it's time to invite people to them and then in the next video I'll show you how to moderate that group.